Hello everyone, this is Stevio here. Another day on Autumn Oaks. And we are busy in the spring here. We are in mid-spring and we are way behind. So we need to get make sure our feedlot cattle yearlings are doing good go down there and make sure they are got water and they got all the feed they need then we got to start our our tillage basically we still got a lot of tillage to do I did a lot of spraying off screen so that way we are good we'll park this right in here it's really hard to steer this uh, 8670 it's like the response of the steering isn't correct oh well these cattle are doing good here so now we need to start our tractors let's go over here we need a cultivator started so we can start corn planting Got this uh, well rich 2800 here. We'll see how it works. So, we did end up talking the dealer into trading in our non four -wheel, front wheel sys uh, tractor in for this one. The other one just wasn't steering correctly, it started tipping all the time. So, was going to try this front wheel sys version to see if it works better start this guy up right here Cultivate pretty good speed here, 11 mile an hour. That's good. So far, so good. I like the action of it. I like the tines in the back aren't dug into the ground like some mods are. So far, I like it. It's good size for this size of a farm too. You always see the big stuff. You never see the smaller stuff. size cultivator that I used to run when I was a boy this is definitely a big field so we're just cultivating in the the nitrogen they put on for us so it is ready for corn planting then A little dark under here with the shade hopefully this doesn't kill off too much of the yield so far I'm liking the the new tractor that's for sure I do like the 7810 uh, headlights way more than the 7800. I just think they look so much better with the placement of them. Got a weird finger land print in this field. 
Horseplay actually runs this field really well, surprisingly. I ran it on the chisel and it did all the work and it completed the whole entire field. So all you the naysayers out there that says course play is you know can't farm odd shaped fields where it's starting to get better in its beta version. So I hear so I hear two things. I hear my mod links works and I hear my mod links doesn't work for some people. So every time I try it, it works, even if I try it on an outside uh, access or Google entry. Uh, I guess there's two ways. Either you can follow the mod links that I post in the description, or you could just search for Stevio's mod FS19 mods. And it's in uh, Google Drive. So just go to Google Drive and there's a search up there. You could just search and I you should be able to find me. That's not all my mods, trust me. That's just a lot of them that are public and that I've had requests for that I've known the modders put out for public access so usually I like sending you directly to the modder because that's giving them the credit giving their Facebook time the credit and everything modders work really hard making us these mods giving us these opportunities to play with them so we have to, you know, give them credit. I do a lot, a lot of stuff I can't do, like this chisel here. Found this on a Facebook site. I believe either this was Buster's Community or R.D. Allen's Facebook site. One of the two. I don't remember which one. We will make this first round here and then we'll set the worker off. Seems like it's kind of foggy this morning here. There we go, now that he is off, let's get into the other tractor. Get into the 4955. I think we'll take the shortcut down to our other field. shortcut here through our grass field. Looks out pretty good, especially when we're checking on our cattle and horses. I 
we still got to get another chisel tractor going, so we've got a lot of work to do. Take the shortcut with the 1586 too. I love it when I can work the tractor side by side. Really liking this 1586 as a tillage tractor. Love the turns in this field, just makes it feel so realistic. Horseplay is doing a really good job in this uneven field. Really prefer this front wheel sis 7810. Looks like the bigger tires up front fix the steering issue we had. Get a close up look at the 7810. So we need to get cleaned up around this, our yard here. Hopefully, this little 644 International can pull this mower. I think it's pulling it pretty good now. Go. Clean up some of this brush around here. Probably need to get a good little riding lawnmower here sometime. Having some trouble getting up this hill. Come on, buddy, you can do it. I have to promote this to a bigger tractor. Definitely does not like that hill, that's for sure. Mower takes some serious torque. The problem right here is we don't have access to this land, so that's unfortunate. We can't bow along it. Go. It's a good little mowing tractor, just a little bit too small for this bat wing. This California. 
California weather, it's like 90 degrees. It's making me hot, and he has the same effect on me. It's just something Good look at the back of our bin set here. I just want to shout his name. My body's giving up on me. Because I don't know what to do with my fingertips. Weave in and out of these trees here. But I'm trying not to stare. I get a little starstruck when I see. Well, nice and close to the highway so our neighbors aren't disgraced by our yard. Get nice and close to the bins because I'm sure we're going to be spilling some grain. In and around all of our feedlot here. My body's giving up on me. Cause I don't know what to do with my fingertips. I wanna run him through his hair, but don't stare. I get a little softer when I see him. I couldn't hit him even if I tried. Am I a little crazy? Glad we got this bat wing mower because we got a lot of mowing to do. Get nice and close to our cabin barn here. It's California weather, it's like 90 degrees. It's making me hot, and he has the same effect on me. I act a little dumber when I try to get his number up. So never said I'm losing grip on myself. I get a little soft. Looks like we just have a little bit left. Just about it. We'll get around the front of our house. Alright, so we just got done mowing what we can around the farmyard. We didn't get everything, but we got enough. So this thing really got dirty playing the mud around. Looks like we could mow that, but we'll just leave that for the riding lawnmower. Kind of forgot that little piece right there. Gonna get a little good old riding lawnmower, so clean a lot of this up. Wash this off and put this away. mower really gets dirty here must be from all the uneven surfaces caked in the mud there we go looks good a little 644 kind of like that little tractor works good on the mower even though it's kind of underpowered Let's get back to chiseling. I know I said chiseling, but we'll jump back into the 7810 and do some cultivating. He said he only want to see his friends. Another week went by and we barely even spoke. Really making good time with this big field here. Horseplay is really handling this field with ease. Get 
jump back in my favorite tillage tractor, the 1586. This old 1586 really rolls coal while it's chiseling. Jump into our 4955. Looks like we're almost done with this side of the field. Looks like we are on the last round here. get this 4955 back to the farm we still have two tractors running in the field we got our 7810 and our uh, 1586 chiseling and cultivating I don't know why these gates are open Need to shut these. I don't know why the cattle didn't know the gate was open. That was a close call there. So we will turn around, take our little shortcut here. You see, this is kind of funny. You see the... So there's actually weeds built into this map. I believe in 17. Beans, it's over the winter. They got winter kill, which is odd. Never seen that into, like, the... Basic... The, the landscape of a map before you know weeds die like that it's kind of new kind of cool so it'd be kind of cool if like bushes and all that die and everything in the map so basically now all of our fields are chiseled still got some cultivating to do uh, we got to start planting or we're really behind it's already 11 days into spring so hopefully the weather holds out for us so thank you all for watching and I will see you later on autumn oaks